In this video, I'm going to walk you through very briefly how we make the decision about the type of parts that we're going to use. This is the last step before we open up that Altium Designer and actually start the design process in the tool. In this step, we're really trying to decide which specific components from the library are we going to use. We know the values, we know it's a resistor, we know a capacitor, we know a 555, but what type of part, what kind of package are they going to come in? And here's the decision tree that we're going to use to decide. The first question is, who's going to do the assembly? Is it me or is it them? Are we going to go out for assembly or are we going to do it personally? And if we're going to do it personally, do we want to use through-hole parts or surface mount parts? Generally, we're going to find that there are a growing number of parts that are not available as through-hole. We have to get used to using surface mount. And if you pay attention to some really simple best practices for soldering, you can assemble surface mount components as easily as through-hole, and you'll get a higher density as well. But if we're going to do surface mount components, then the question is, okay, what size components for resistors, capacitors, LEDs do we want to use? We want to make our life easier. Easy means low risk. If we're going to use surface mount, yeah, some people can say they can assemble 0603 parts manually by hand, but it takes a lot of skill to do that. Even 0805 parts, a lot of folks say, yeah, I can do it by hand, but if you haven't tried it and you don't have a lot of experience, you want to make your life easier. Reduce the risk. And that's where I recommend, if you're going to do surface mount parts, and you're going to do the assembly, use 1206 as the smallest size to use. And in addition, do not use a QFN or a BGA type package. You want to use a leaded package. And a leaded package is going to be so much easier to assemble. Easy means low risk. So I recommend getting used to being able to manually uh, assemble surface mount components, 1206 body size, leaded parts. And those are the parts we should select from our library if we're going to do it by hand. But on the other hand, if you're going to go out for assembly and someone else is going to do the assembly, then your options of selecting parts is a lot broader. What you want to do is identify what are the capabilities of the assembly vendor that you're going to use. Almost all the assembly vendors will be able to do 0402 parts. And generally, 0402 parts are going to be less expensive as well because they're used in such high volume. And so as a, as a baseline starting place, I recommend if you're going to go out for assembly, consider using 0402 parts. Of course, it means you're not going to be able to assemble the board yourself. You're going to have to rely on the vendor, but that will generally result in the lowest cost. And generally, uh, if the vendor is going to do the assembly, Generally, depending on the vendor, um, they're going to prefer to do the surface mount parts only. And so that means that you may have to do through hole parts, the connectors um, and, uh, and other uh, components. You may have to do those yourself. You want to minimize the number of surface mount parts. So first step before we open up the schematic capture and start uh, grabbing parts is decide on who's going to do the assembly. For this project, I'm going to assume that I'm going to do the assembly myself, and so I'm going to select um, surface mount parts, and I'm going to select them as 1206 uh, leaded parts. Now we're ready to open up the Altium Designer tool and start the process of schematic capture and laying out the board. 